today. From Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from Santa Clara. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result had he opted for the touchback. San Francisco reading for their first drive of the game on offense and in his ninth season in the league six with the 49ers it's Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On play action, it's Garoppolo. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. And the Dolphins are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, they certainly took a shot to open this game. And I know it backfired with the interception, but no lack of bravado from that sideline at all. And look, they told us before the ball game, they wanted to be a little more dangerous on offense. They wanted to take a few more chances. That opening pass certainly set a tone. Maybe a turnover, but I don't think it'll stop them from trying again the rest of this game. Now Tua Tungabailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. This is what this man was born for. The big spotlight on a national stage like this. Really his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him. And you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Second and five. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Tua going to throw. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complementary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Get ready. Yellow, 22. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions step up and make those throws, and he did that. Meanwhile, to his throw is taken in by Waddle. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Here's Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. So a toss play there does the trick as he's into the end zone. And you don't run this unless you're sure you've got a guy who has the speed who can get to the edge because what you're hoping for, for him to win the race to the corner and turn it upfield to the end zone. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is. His first throw of the game, but I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 29, Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 
It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. He's got Ayuk once again. And they're going to get this up to midfield. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second down, McCaffrey. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And some room to roam now. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That good for 19 and a first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. down. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That's complete, right around the eight. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw is Garoppolo, and this is going to be incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. 
And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So Miami coming out for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Here we go. 45. Right. From the 35 on second down. Tua. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game, you know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Tua looking to throw on third and two. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Tua to throw again. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. If anyone ever has any doubt that tight ends are primary targets nowadays, just watch this play. He's back in the pocket, finds his guy, and they get a nice gain out of it. Yeah, simple little completion out into the flat. Second down at five. Now Tua. Out to the right here to Wilson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 41-yard line. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. Now another timeout called for by the offense. 
So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and three from the nine. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's into the clear. The 20. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Tongue of Iloa trying again after the pick six. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Tua now on first down. That's complete. Once again, it's Kosicki. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando and the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Tua. Another catch there for Waddle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Play action, now it's Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Here we go. 52 blue. Two and now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. 
Up the middle they go with Moster. About three yards there to the 27. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Nick Bosa with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and your defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It'll be a 51-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will knot us up at 10. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And their three-point halftime lead gone now back to a tie game, but... Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. And he's going to have the Niners first down as the tackle made at about the 38. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field. But, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Here we go, here so we go. here's a first and 10 at the 38. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. It was Raquan Davis with the tackle. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 59 yards on the ground for him so far. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's caught downfield by Kittle. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 46 yards. And the Niners have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. So still time remaining here in this fourth quarter, but the touchdown there puts them back out in front. And you and I both know that their defense will not very subtly remind everyone that they started all of this because they held firm on the last drive and only gave up a field goal. Gave it back to the offense in a tie game and said, okay, your turn now, make something happen. And they went down the field and scored. Gold with the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. A drive that time of six plays, and it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. They'll run the draw with Mostert. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. 
And to the left side here, Wilson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. Tua. And that'll be incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Tongue of Iloa. And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. He'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Now Tua. They'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And they'll get this down to the ten. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later they're going to have to stop the clock. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Nothing open downfield, they went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back, see if you can make someone miss in the open field. Clock rolling here, about to hit 30 seconds. Here's Tua. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Two and a throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Niners have just about sewn up this football game. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field. But sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. 
Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Third down. Here's McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. CD for the losing side. They had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late. And they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened, it knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. Charles Davis and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.